good morning all my dear students welcome you all in today's web classes subject english i am reading the text all over again listen to it keep your books in hand carefully rush our crowds jostle for position on the underground train platform a slight girl looking younger than her 17 years was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibrations of the approaching train it was her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a scottish farm but this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most she was profoundly deaf Evelyn Glennie's loss of hearing had been gradual. Her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the 8-year-old Evelyn was waiting to play the piano. They called her name and she didn't move. I suddenly realized she had not heard, says Isabel Glennie. For quite a while Evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness. from friends and teachers but by the time she was 11 her marks had deteriorated and her headmistress urged her parents to take her to a specialist it was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage they were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and sent to a school for the deaf everything suddenly looked black says evelyn but evelyn was not going to give up she was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music one day she noticed a girl playing a xylophone and decided that she wanted to play it too most of the teachers discouraged her but percussionist ron forbes spotted her potential he began by tuning two large drums to different notes don't listen through your ears he would say try to sense it some other way says evelyn suddenly i realized i could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down forbes repeated the exercise and soon evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body i had learned to open my mind and body to sounds and vibrations the rest was sheer determination and hard work she never looked back from that point onwards she toured the united kingdom with a youth orchestra and by the time she was 16 she had decided to make music her life she auditioned for the royal academy of music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy she gradually moved from orchestral work to solo performances at the end of her 3 year course she had captured most of the top awards and for all this evelyn won't accept any hint of heroics achievement if you work hard and know where you are going you will get there and she got right to the top the world's most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some 1000 instruments and hectic international schedule it is intriguing to watch evelyn function so effortlessly without hearing in our two hour discussion she never missed a word man with bushy beards give me trouble she laughed it is not just watching the lips it is the whole face especially the eyes she speaks flawlessly with a scottish lilt my speech is clear because i could hear till i was 11 she says but that doesn't explain how she managed to learn french and master basic japanese as for music she explains it pours in through 
every part of my body it tingles in the skin my cheekbones and even in my hair when she plays the xylophone she can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips my by leaning against the drums she can feel the resonances flowing into her body on a wooden platform she removes her shoes so that the vibrations pass through her bare feet and up her legs not surprisingly evelyn delights her audiences in 1991 she was presented with the royal philharmonic society's prestigious soloist of the year award says master percussionist james blades god may have taken her hearing but he has given her back something extraordinary what we hear she feels far more deeply than any of one of any of us that is why she expresses music so beautifully evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic i have just got to work often harder than classical musicians but the rewards are enormous apart from the regular concerts evelyn also gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals She also gives high priority to classes for young musicians and Richlin of the Beethoven Fund for Deaf Children says she is a shining inspiration for deaf children they see that there is nowhere that they cannot go Evelyn Glenny has already accomplished more than most people twice her age She has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving. She has given inspiration to those who are handicapped. People who look to her and say if she can do it I can. And not the least she has given enormous pleasure to millions. With this final sentence a note of thanks goes to debra kaule for writing such a beautiful story and inspirational one so my dear students after reading the text we do have some questions to answer here i would like to suggest you before answering any of the question keep the word limit in mind don't cross the word limit otherwise you will face lows in marks at the time of assessment i am taking the long question for the discussion today a single question is given at the end single long question is given at the end of the story how does evelyn hear music so now i am trying to help you out how should you write down the answer of this question see my first and foremost suggestion for you student is that whenever you are going to attempt a long question i am trying to tell you if the question is asked how does evelyn hear music i am telling you not to write down this sentence this way evelyn doesn't hear music but she feels music through different parts of her body you should not write this statement in the beginning of your answer so my suggestion says that first of all you should give a short description of evelyn a short description of evelyn says that she was a young girl she had a great interest in music her mother noticed some problem with her hearing sense when she was just 8 years old and then after she didn't pay attention towards it evelyn also managed to hide her growing deafness from everyone ultimately her deafness revealed by the time she was 11 tell something about evelyn then give a short description how she became deaf as we have studied in the story 
it was a gradual process and due to a gradual nerve damage. Then my dear students you should add how did she show her determination to lead a normal life and her interest in music that turned into the dream of her life. When her deafness was confirmed or declared by the specialist then you should give some proofs taken from the story to tell that how did Evelyn show her determination to lead a normal life and pursue her dream. Then after you should include how or when did Ron Forbes enter the story with a positive approach towards the young Evelyn. Give a detailed explanation of the exercise that he conducted on Evelyn and the process of feeling music in different parts of the body by her in the story. Thus you can conclude your answer with this statement in this way Evelyn started listening sounds without hearing. For the final statement for the final finishing of your answer give a short description of her achievements or awards. So students do this much for the day and I want to remind you that you should go for the reading of the text. Try to keep the proper accent while you read. Try to keep the level of your sound at a good one. Thank you students. Prepare your lesson. Tomorrow we will take the second part of this second chapter. Till then take care of yourself. Have a good day.